I recently had the honor of spending the afternoon with legendary trooper Harold Skid Savage. Harold was a member of the Maine State Police for 32 years and received the highest honor a trooper can be given in 2014. In this video interview, he talks about his service and what he did during his transition period into retirement. He enjoys working at the Seeds of Peace camp with young people from around the world and staying active with his friends and family, including his children Todd and Tracy, his three beautiful grandchildren, and his special friend Kelly. Tell us where we are and what this place means to you. We're at Seeds of Peace Camp in Otisfield, Maine, and this is my happy place to come in the summertime. I always look forward to it. It's just a great, uh, great group of people and very well run. And what kind of people come to this camp? Uh, kids from uh, Israel, Palestine, Egypt, Jordan. And what's the purpose of them coming here? The purpose is to come here is to realize that they have the same issues, but yet they can realize when they leave here that they're their friends and they have the same problems and hopefully they'll work some of them out while they're here. Oh, that's wonderful. How, how many of them come in the summertime? Uh, a couple hundred. Yeah. And is this the only program like it? Yes, it is. This is the only camp they have. This is their, called their international camp. And it's right here in Maine? Yes, it is. Transitioning from a high energy job into retirement can be difficult for many people. In this next segment, Harold talks about what has helped him, including taking a class and adopting his new friend. Um, how long were you at a Maine State Trooper? 32 years. 32 years, wow. And you've been retired how long? I've been retired for, let me see, 15 years. And how was that transition? It was difficult at first, you know, going from being riding around in that uh, blue car with the uniform and then one day all of a sudden it's all gone and you're just who are you anymore you know you lose your identity for a while yeah, yeah. and the com camaraderie i think the brotherhood absolutely miss, that's that plays a big mates. part of it i still keep in touch with a lot of the guys but yeah you do lose that and it was it's you always have that no matter what you know and transitions are hard for everybody but i think coming from such a um, adrenaline sort of high octane job like you had transitioning to like the quiet retirement um, can be very difficult. Absolutely it so is. So what, what types of things have you done to combat um, combat the negative feelings of Well, I, I, I work over at Seeds of Camp in the summertime which is a, a great place to be and wonderful people to be around uh, and then you know I have a lot of good friends uh, when I'm not there that I hang with and socialize with so you know it makes a big difference when you've got the support of friends and family absolutely i think that's a, a huge thing yes a very, it is a very big big thing yes it um, is. also what do you do you, um do every single morning did i get a big kick out of <laughs> your coffee group the coffee group you know if i can't make the coffee group well boy that ruins my day gotta be there for that <laughs> but that's nice and that's again part of the support system getting out and doing things and you that's take right. a daily walk every day and I yeah. think and that's part of the uh, I think that's very helpful that's part of the uh, thing that I still hold on to from the uh, state police you had to have that coffee every morning <laughs> but yeah I do I take my walks every day I walk two two and a half miles and uh, yeah I enjoy that very much good and you're taking a new class what is, what's the class that you're taking the class is called health math m-a-t-h and it just is a, it's a class to help you deal with uh, depression, anxiety, anger. And it just makes you realize that the things that we get upset about really aren't anything worth ruining your day over. So it's a, it's a great class. I think everybody should take something like that. I really do. And I, I understand that you received the highest award any trooper can receive called the Legendary Trooper Award. Do you want to tell us when you got it and a little bit about that award? I received that in uh, 2014, 10 years after I retired, and it, it's, uh, it's an award that's picked by a committee. Uh, and I was just so, so honored and humbled to receive it because as the people that are on the list that have received it prior and after I did are just amazing people, and just to be included in that group was 
It was unbelievable. Huge honor, absolutely a huge honor. Yes. And and I understand you have a new friend. And I I'm trying do. To, I'm trying to get. I'm gonna zoom down here. Yeah, all right. Good luck. <laughs> I can't find. Can't find him. Oh. <laughs> he snuck in behind me. Hi. Hi. So. Yeah, that's this... my that's my new friend Gordon, who is uh, so happy that I got him, and uh, I uh, owe it all to. Uh, Catherine Gordon for, uh, <laughs> for uh, going with me to get him and convince me to get her, pardon me, her, and the Gordon name comes from <laughs> Catherine's last name, so it worked out well. Well, I'm glad. I think pets um, truly add a lot, you know, to people's lives, and having that companionship, and, you know, I think pets are unconditional love, and they um, really help. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I've is, noticed a big difference just in the two weeks that I've, uh, I've had. Her. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. I want to say thank you to Harold Skid Savage for a wonderful day, and thank you very much for the service that you've given our you know, great state of Maine. We greatly appreciate it, and uh, it's wonderful to meet you and, and have this whole day, and, and hope we get to go hiking in Acadia. We will, definitely, Good. and thank you for uh, doing this for me, and I really appreciate your friendship. I appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, <coughs> take two. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not helping, so I can't stop laughing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> means to you? It's Seeds of Peace Camp in Otisfield, and this place just is my happy place. Love being here in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> I did not make any faces. <laughs> I know you did. <laughs> oh. Oh. Tell us where we are and what this place means. I can't do it. I'm get ready to go. And you're making me laugh now. Okay. <clears throat> okay, that's enough. On three. One, two, three. Can you tell us where we are? <laughs>